I'm Shirley Ward. I'm a certified nutrition and fitness coach, 53 years old mother and grandmother of two, and I love to help active aging community. Aging is a complex process that is reflected in changes to many different systems in our body over time. We're all aware that our body changes as we age. It is believed to be four references in describing aging. Chronological age, physical age, social age, and biological age. So today, we're talking about the uh, chronological age, which is the age since the day you were born until today. The candles that you blow on your birthday cake. We can't change nor reverse that. However, I can help you guide your physical age to get younger. Accomplishing this, you will feel better, healthier, move better, and therefore enjoy life much more. Perhaps this will help you expand your chronological age as well. I can explain more of my program about nutrition, fitness, and active aging in my course lecture in this website. Today, I'll show you the first step to become active. It starts with daily stretching. A daily stretching of 20 minutes will be a great investment to your overall health. And doing this consistently could give you a physical age discount. I'll show you some simple stretches that can be incorporated into your lifestyle or your exercise routines. If, it's, if you find it too easy, you may add resistance use, using a thicker bands, you know, um, or add weights. And if you find it too challenging, you can um, just use uh, a chair instead roll towels, you know, anything in the home, in your kitchen that you can find if you don't have any props. So enjoy and do this simple stretching. From head to toe exercise, start with the sitting position and you can put your head to the side, left and right. Each position you can hold for 15 seconds, ideally, or 10 seconds minimum. Holding your chin or your head while doing this exercise will also create awareness to the muscle and mind. Neck rotation. Now, this one will also release the tension on your neck. Now we're moving down to the shoulder. Shoulder rotation. Shoulder stabilization. And you can also do the, uh, I call it football uh, traps. Football player traps. It's for your muscle at the back. Reach your ears. This is good for your functional movements, daily functional movements. And you can stretch this overhead this is uh, also increasing your flexibility if you can't reach your fingers uh, you can use towels Stretch your wrist, palm, fingers. There will be a separate exercise for hands. Back stretch. Moving on to the cross position, lift up the legs and hold to your chest, left and right.
You can twist your spine at the same time here. Do each movement slowly and mindfully and remember to hold it for 10 seconds to 15 seconds each movement. This one is thread and needle. It's a glutes um, stretching exercise. Okay, you can also use the wall to stretch your uh, hamstring, back of your legs, qu uh, quads for the front legs, and uh, release your uh, hip uh, flexor. And back to the mat. And this is very relaxing when you do this uh, cobra position. child pose and cat stretch cat stretch again this one you can do it as a break after each parts of the um, lower body movements that's a child pose again this one is a calf stretch do 15 seconds for each calf. Then you can do child pose again and back to the sitting position. 